up YouTube welcome to the aviators channel <sighs> so many updates and I haven't been doing a good job of uh, videoing them so today I thought I'd fix that um, gosh made so much progress on the Cessna it is really 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 close and so I thought I'd do an update video um, and show you the progress I've made and all the things that we've done to this airplane and I actually think it's probably gonna be flying next week so um, pretty kind of cool neat thing um, anyways let's just dive right into it okay so let's uh, dive right in so here right here are all of the new engine monitoring probes we've got EGTs and CHTs remember this airplane just had uh, a single probe um, <clears throat> You know, new battery box. Some of this stuff you guys have already seen, but I'll just go over it again. Obviously, the leading edge. You'll notice there's a lot of holes in the wing. Uh, and that's because one of the things I did was added, and I'm not sure if you can see it up in there, but there is an extended fuel cell that goes from about right here on the wing all the way to right here. Uh, 12, and, uh, 12 gallons per side. Uh, that's almost done. We're just finishing up the plumbing, a little bit of the electrical. Uh, obviously, the big wheels and tires powder coated those. It turned out really cool. Um, you know, it's the little things that make these projects fun. Uh, for, if you come to the back of the plane here, you can see where we've got the fuel cells in. You'll notice one is uh, a different color than the other. Kind of a funny story when uh, uh, when I pulled out one of the tanks that needed welding, I took it to the welder and he actually exploded it, so that wasn't good. But the uh, external of the plane, uh, as soon as I finish uh, the fuel and the rest of the avionics, uh, gonna do some paint on it and uh, finish it up. You'll see I put some new uh, some new tips on it here just because the old ones were cracked and, and not looking great all right now some of the fun stuff here getting inside the plane here is the new avionics they are actually all done now you'll see the transponder right here is out of the airplane. Um, I actually had to get a new one. The one they sent me wasn't uh, wasn't good. Uh, all the placards are in. Everything's looking really good. The G5s are awesome. G2 engine monitor. Uh, yokes are in. Push to talks are in. Uh, in the uh, kick panels here on the side, I actually installed uh, uh, USB charging ports. My iPad will sit right up here. Pretty cool. Well, let's power it up. Tell me what y'all think. And it's coming to life. That's 796 over there and a really cool gimbal mount. While those are powering up, I'll walk around and show you this mount that I found for it. It's a really cool kind of anodized aluminum uh, mount. Mounts right to the, uh, to the panel there. There's a big doubler behind it. Uh, so that's removable. That 796 happens to be one of my favorite instruments for flying. It's got all your IFR plates if you want them. It's got terrain, traffic, everything you can imagine. All right. So let's see here. Let's get some. Now we probably won't get a GPS uh, location in here. And it's uh, it's looking for satellites. But here is the. Uh, um, here are the G5s. And it's gonna, it says, uh, you know, heading fail, uh, just because I don't have a, a GPS signal right now. And here is the uh, HSI, the GI-106A. So the way this works is NAV1 runs this HSI, NAV2 runs this GI-106A. Here is the uh, new engine monitor. That's a G2 Insight, pretty sweet. Uh, obviously both 430s got a ADSB out uh, transponder there 
I'm sorry, I said transponder earlier. I meant audio panel. The audio panel, um, you should get a new one on Monday. Uh, and then, then we've got the, uh, the 796 right here. And this gives you everything you could ever want. It's uh, really cool. And it's looking for GPS as well, but there's your weather, uh, waypoint info, map, chart. Uh, really a cool, cool, cool instrument. There is the uh, fuel gauge for the auxiliary fuel. And actually, yesterday I put this on. There we go. There's the new placard for it that I engraved. Auxiliary fuel, 24 gallons. Standard fuel over there. Really, really, really neat. Um, yeah. So, uh, flap handle turned out real well. Redid that. And the trim. Redid that as well. Now, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Really, uh, really happy with how everything turned out. That's that. So it's been a, it's been a process, but, uh, you know, spring, summer flying season is coming and this thing's going to go everywhere. So you guys are going to get a lot of flying videos. There hasn't been anything about this project that hasn't turned out the way I wanted it to. It's just, uh, it's just really turning out well. And, uh, you know, it's been a fun winter project and now it's time to go fly in and the spring, summer, winter flying season is upon us. And I'm going to take this thing everywhere. Uh, and probably the RV too. You know, I, I did a, uh, avionics upgrade on it as well that I haven't done a video on. <clears throat> That goes back to personality flaws, but uh, it's turned out really, really cool as well. So I'm um, pretty excited about both airplanes. And um, yeah, it'll be nice to get this thing up in the air. Anyway, so uh, that's an update. Uh, avionics are done. Uh, you know, the last thing we got just a little bit of plumbing to do in the uh, in the passenger side wing to finish up that install for the extended fuel. I got to put the uh, the interior back together, uh, which will take probably a day ish, and uh, then it's time to test fly it. So I'll probably hook up the camera and, and test fly it with all you guys with me and uh, watch me do some bad landings. Um, this thing lands so slow. I carry so much energy on final with it. I'm I'm I need to go out and do a gajillion touch and goes and and. You know get back comfortable with flying slow after flying the bonanza and the rv you know they're obviously much faster airplanes uh anyways well that's my update so uh if you like this sort of thing like subscribe comment and uh until next time